We're in Jackson Heights for the kickoff of the Queen's Bus Network Redesign Open Houses. Uh, the MTA is here sort of explaining to people what's going on with the network redesign process and getting some initial feedback. So here what you're seeing, you're seeing uh, boards with multiple stations around here explaining different aspects, different concepts that you can expect with the redesign effort. Um, we have our staff here, we have our planners around here. We're asking people to provide their ideas on how they would like to design better bus service in Queens. Some of these are getting really specific, others are very general. Uh, I really like this one here, tow all the cars in the bus lane. More service for transit deserts. Um, a lot of places in Queens especially don't have access to a subway. Um, we have to take a bus to a subway. Bus bunching is a real problem. I did these um, bus stop amenities, so shelters are definitely a big part of you know what I think that we need. As like today, it's super rainy outside. If you're waiting for the bus for 10 minutes, you really want to be like under a shelter. Um, and then definitely um, dedicated bus lanes, transit signal priority. But things like making sure there isn't a bus stop right before there's a bus light. Because indeed, why should you have a bus stop right before you're going to have a stoplight? As a rider who is, you know, commuting every day into borough, um, I'm commuting a very far distance. Sometimes I'm on transit for two hours. Our riders are very interested in their bus service, and we're really excited to see that. Uh, we have uh, a video being played, a, a presentation. Again, this is a really exciting time. We're really happy to get kicked off and get started here. And I think it's great that the MTA is really trying hard to have community input. And yeah, it sounds like they're kind of starting from scratch and looking to just build what Queens residents really want to see. I think we have a great opportunity to try to figure out how to redesign the network in a way that gets people out of cars and into a bus. Uh, if the bus is just always there and it's always reliable. I think you're going to see more people choosing it. <laughs> What's yours? Faster service overall for everybody. <laughs>